Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you 5 things I don't want to see return or come new to Destiny 2. But before we go any further, I am giving away this Resurrectionist emblem. To be in with a chance of winning, simply drop a like and leave a comment. Details are on screen now. Okay, so Destiny 2, released September 8th this year, a game I've played the beta build 2 in LA, a game I find absolutely amazing on almost every level, and it's basically what I hoped for gameplay wise would come from a sequel to our beloved Destiny 1. Now there has been speculation about this, that and the other coming with Destiny 2, and other things being introduced new to the game, and we will discuss some of this in this video, things I don't actually want to see. Now these are actually in no particular order, and the first one is a big topic. Many will disagree with me on this, but others will certainly agree, and that is Zer. Uh, now Zer is a vendor to Destiny 1 who visits us each weekend, offering us that exotic loot, making it basically easy for us to obtain certain exotics. Now for sure many people and those who disagree with me will be saying Zer is their only real way of getting exotics as they have real life jobs, uh, school etc etc and they can't spend countless hours playing Destiny day in day out to grind for exotics. Uh, well let's just get one thing straight, the days where we had to grind this game to get them certain exotics disappeared long long ago. Exotics in Destiny now are not exotics, they are more common than the legendaries we see many people chasing. Now I have over 4,000 hours in this game, I have friends with over 6,000 hours, we've had every exotic twice over, yet they or me can't ever seem to get that perfect road Iris Luna and even a few other weapons, legendary wise. Yet you don't really see us or anyone else chasing that legendary weapon, complaining about it, asking for easier ways to obtain it. At the end of the day Destiny is or was a game you had to grind, them days are now over, obtaining the loot is now easier than ever, well for most of us. Zer, in my opinion, is just a waste of what this game should be about. I mean, like, I ain't fussed if Zer does return, but change his inventory to maybe exclusive weapons only he sells, legendary weapons, weapons of the nine, not exotics, which are now less exotic than legendaries because of this very reason. So moving on. Now, over the past few days, I have seen many people talking about trading. This, for me, is a big no-no. While it seems like a cool idea at first to trade weapons with your pals who have duplicates etc etc, that does sound pretty cool, but I can guarantee you a trading system within Destiny 2 would do more harm than good. You would end up having websites built purposely to trade and sell weapons and armors which people seek. It would be just like Tess Eververse, but you'd actually be paying to win through a third party. It's a bad idea which I hope Bungie don't touch with a barge pole. The next thing I want removed from the game is being kicked from your menus when trying to sort your subclass out at that last minute when entering a raid, a strike, PvP or whatever. Now unfortunately when I played the game in LA it still happened, but hopefully they can figure out some kind of fix, as it's obviously an issue many people have and complained about. I mean it seems pretty petty at first, and if you haven't really experienced it, you won't understand, but the more you play the more it happens and the more it pisses you off. So yes. Please fix being kicked from your menu when trying to load into somewhere, that's really seriously annoying. Now the next thing I want to see, well to say being taken away is just kind of stupid, but I want to see an option to turn it down or completely off, and that is aim assist. Now for the most part it helps you without you even realising, you do realise how much it helps when you switch to PC and switch back, it's definitely noticeable. But an option to turn it off would be great, it's the instances where you're having a gun battle sometimes at range, and an enemy crosses your path. Even if they are in the distance, it completely removes your aim from that initial target who you were initially shooting at, giving them the advantage and 9 times out of 10, they kill you. So the option to turn it off or down would be great. And guys, the last thing I do not want to see return are reskins, reskinned armour, reskinned weapons, basically any kind of reskins. Destiny 2 is a new game, reskinning old Destiny 1 weapons and armours is a big no-no. You'd expect Bungie to have created many new weapons and armor concepts, which they can introduce before having to reskin already modeled weapons and armors, which are no doubt all ready to be coded in. Reskins were one of the biggest issues many people had with Destiny 1, and it put a lot of people off. And it wasn't just armors and weapons though, we saw the reintroduction of old activities, things like the recent raid, Challenge of the Elders, etc etc. Yeah for sure it felt like fresh content due to us playing the same shit for ages. But at the end of the day it got really boring, really quick. 
You'd expect Bungie have learnt from this, and as a rumour states, they have a schedule of fresh content ready to drop. Let's hope that's right, and let's hope things don't get stale quickly, and they start reusing the older activities with minute changes, and try and pass it off as new content, when theoretically, it certainly is not. I just want this game to be the game we all believe it can be. Having played it in LA, I can say it's looking to be that very game we all want. Changes have been made and changes are still being made right now. It's us as a community they listen to. We are their income. We keep their business going. So if we want changes, you must be heard. Let me know down below in that comment section what you don't want to see or do want to see introduced to Destiny 2. I may do a video covering some of your points. But as always guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you think about my points in this video. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video of mine, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications. Again, thanks for stopping by and I will see you on that next one.